listeners. Yes, our God is great. The question is, do you have all that this great God has for you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us every Tuesday and Thursday at 11.15 right here on this station. You are now listening to the Archangel Healing Temple of the Apostolic Faith Church. We are located at 13 Reba Christian Road, Natchez, Mississippi. Now, listen to the enriched Word of God from our very own Pastor Sam Watkins Jr. Praise the Lord. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Psalms 96 and 9. The psalmist said, Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The Hebrew writer said in Hebrews 12 and 14, To follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Holiness. Separation from sin and consecration towards God. Moving from sin and moving to God. Holiness. Peter writes in 1 Peter 1.15 But as he which called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. As he which called you is holy. Most of us will agree that he which called us is holy. We would agree that Jesus is holy. Even the devil recognized that. As recorded in St. Mark 124, the devil speaks out of a demon-possessed man and says to Jesus, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. The psalmist declared several times in Psalms 99, For the Lord our God is holy. Our God is holy. Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter number 6, in the year that Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the serpents. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto the other and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. But Peter said, as he which called you is holy, be ye holy. And he also quotes the Old Testament scriptures where God called Israel to be holy and be a different people from all the people of the world. God told the Israelites, be ye holy as I am holy. My friends, God don't tell us to do anything he don't want us to do, nor does he ask of us anything that we cannot do. If God said, be holy, he expect us to be holy. My friends, you would think we are reading a different book when we discuss holiness and the sin issue. What book, what book are we reading that allows us to continue to indulge in sin and still please a holy God? Well, the book of books, the Bible from Genesis to Revelation is dealing with a sin problem and a holy God. It deals with a solution, Christ Jesus. It deals with a penalty to all who don't accept the solution, the second death, hell if you please. Yes, from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is dealing with the sin issue. In Genesis, man disobeyed, ate off the forbidden tree, he sinned. There was a penalty, death, the sin issue. When he called the people out of Egypt, God gave them the Ten Commandments, calling for holiness and, and separation because, because God is holy and Israel kept sinning. The prophets Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and others preached to Israel, asking them to get rid of their false god because our God is holy. The sin issue. The beginning of the New Testament starts with the first chapter saying, She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. John the Baptist preached against sin. Jesus said, go in peace and sin no more. 
the apostles writes in Romans 6 and 1, shall we continue in sin because we are under grace? God forbid. How shall we who are dead to sin, the Bible says, live any longer therein? The sin issue. Paul constantly writes letters to the churches as to what to put on and what to put off. Sin. He writes in 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor extortioners, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, and many other sinful things he mentions shall inherit the kingdom of God. Genesis all the way to the last book, Revelation. John said, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God to be judged. Revelation 21, 8 said, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. As he which called you is holy, be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Holiness is separation from sin and consecration to God. Moving from something and moving to something. From sin and to God. True holiness can only be fully attained, uh, not in ourselves, but through the blood of Jesus. Jesus took our sins to the cross, and because of Jesus and the power of his spirit, we can be delivered from the penalty and power of sin. Repent of the sins that you have committed. Wash away the sins that you were born with in the powerful name of Jesus. Receive the power to overcome sin, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and live a holy and sanctified life in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we thank you for your grace, your mercies, and all your blessings you have restored upon us. We thank you for allowing us to come together one more time to feast off of your holy and divine word. We thank you for your word that you left for us, that we don't have to error, that we can follow your path. We pray you order our steps in your word, that your word will be a light to our pathway and a lamp to our feet. And we pray that you bless us in a mighty way. We pray that those under the sound of my voice, we ask you to minister to our needs. For you have you, you know our needs before we even ask. Bless, heal, and deliver. In the name of Jesus, we pray. But please come and visit with us here at Archangel, 13 Reba Christian Road. That's going north on MLK, 1st Street, past Steam Plant Road. Our services are each Sunday with Sunday school starting at 9.45 a.m. and morning worship at 11. And also Sunday evening services at 6 o'clock p.m. Our Bible classes are each Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. nightly. You may call us at 601-906-7120. You may mail your prayer requests or financial contributions if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry to P.O. Box 642, Natchez, Mississippi 39121. Come see us and may God bless you. Oh,